Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Pointless from the Depths video, and this time it is the Queen Mary running over or ramming a tugboat. Uh, there's another requested video for some reason, but this time I've decided to paint the ship, uh, the Queen Mary, in her wartime colours. Except the funnels, of course, because, uh, yeah, I couldn't, you know, couldn't do the funnels um, without changing the draft at the same time. But enough about that, anyway. Uh, I've got this little tugboat here, and uh, we're just going to run it over just for the sheer purpose of... Uh, what people want to see so that's what we're going to do so we'll start the Queen Mary if I just turn the HUD off as well so we'll start the Queen Mary up if I can remember which the controls are is that one in there yep we'll go with that one and we should just see a small little tugboat go squish that's a the theory anyway it's sort of a basic reenactment of the Kurosawa incident Although using a tugboat instead of a battleship or a cruiser, whatever, whatever Kurosawa was, I'm not really sure. Okay, that was unexpected. That explosion. The whole thing just been ripped to pieces. There's loads of things exploding on that thing. And I think that's pretty much done. There's uh, plenty of damage that's been done. Oh, more explosions as well. <laughs> and yeah, there's not a lot left under there. So that is pretty much the tugboat gone. Um, whatever's left is uh, just being dissected under there. You can see the chair. Uh, yeah, it's just being turned into matchsticks basically and more bits exploding. And uh, that's pretty much that. I just got the propellers up here coming up, which won't uh, do the ship any good. It's like a cheese grater effect, basically, on that small small vessel. And there we go. The propellers are just gonna destroy whatever's left. <laughs> that's it. That's the uh, what, what, what was the tugboat. So there we go. That's uh, that little job done there. So I'm going to stop all engines now, and I just work out what is left. I don't think there is that. That is all that is left of the tug. Just a few inanimate, inanimate fragments. What's that causing that watery? So yeah, that's all that's left. Just a few fragments, and uh, yeah, that's that. So I think uh, what I can do now is call it a day with a tug. I'm going to load something else up because this is a very short video. So uh, let's find something else to destroy. Back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now gone for something a bit more different. Uh, this is the RNG Yamato. This is a ship built by Master Jam. He did a tutorial for it on his channel. And he gave this to me a couple of years ago for the purpose of just sinking and destroying. And I've resurrected it. And uh, we're going to ram it with the Queen Mary's. And this is the, probably the biggest ship, uh, well, at least a battleship wise, anyway, that the Queen Mary's come up against. So we're going to uh, ram that. I've also changed Mary back to her proper colours. And I've also loaded up the failsafe. Uh, three mines, so that's the purpose of that. So we're going to start the engines up and see how we get on with this. I don't expect much to happen because this ship does ha actually have heavy armor, a heavy armored uh, draft. So I'm not expecting much to happen. So just put the head on a second. Make sure the t repair tentacles are turned off. We don't want the ship to repair itself, do we? And uh, yeah, just get the business end done and see how we do. 
Do 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 Quite a large ship as well, to be honest, that Yamato. Crunch into the side. And done quite a bit of damage there as well, so we're back up again. I thought the mayor was going to ride up onto the top then, but uh, sadly it didn't happen. But uh, a relatively large hole in the side. And just stop all engines there. Let's get on board the Queen Mary in a minute and see where we're, where we're aiming. So we want to try and aim. I'm trying to the controls on this thing are a bit dodgy, so I'm trying to aim roughly uh, a bit further mid midships, I think. But no, the controls are a bit shit on this, so let's see how we do. Now I'm just going to aim right back where we were, so. Now just try from this angle, this will be an interesting one. Never seen a ship collision from the uh, Earth view before. And crunch into the side. Oh, there's shock damage in the top. There's shock damage through the, the hull of the ship, or through the top of the superstructure. And yeah. That was a bit more than I expected. I was done damage to the bow as well, Queen Mary, but that's not a big deal. She's a tough old bird. Look at that. That's sort of a ripple effect through the top of the superstructure there. Well, not the superstructure, but more the uh, hull. And it's rippled right up to the gun. Or right, right past the gun. Gone right through the other side. That's quite a hefty uh, ripple effect. And we're getting dangerously close to those mines as well. So I'll go for another hit. Interesting to see what more rippling will do. And smash. And yeah, not happened that time. Anyway, we'll just push her into the mines anyway. Just for the sheer hell of it. Left mines, and yeah, she's taking on a bit of damage there, of course. And nothing really to worry about. That's a large hole in her super in her hull. I missed the other mines there. That's a real shame, but no big deal. Okay, let's back up again because the ship is now turning away, which is not what we want. I don't think I have. I don't think there's any controls on the uh, Yamata. I think it's just a, a dud ship. Have a look at the props a minute. Uh, yeah, she's just a dud ship, so there's no uh, no propulsion on board. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to load up a couple more mines, because the uh, ship had sort of moved a bit too far from where it needs to be. So I'll put two mines there. And we'll just <laughs> ram it again. Not much damage again, but that's what you expect. But the mines will kind of compensate for that. Mine number one. The bang is always louder than or bigger than the damage it does. That's no big deal. No, no. <laughs> right. Can we get her close to that other mine? The game is lagging like hell. I've got a feeling it's going to crash in a second. Get this last mine done. Come on, I want that last mine to go off. Before the game goes into crash mode. Come on. There we go. Right, I'll stop the engines. <laughs> the game's crashed. Come on. Yeah, the mouse is now showing. This is never a good thing. Come on. Oh, oh, oh there's movement. There we go. And the Amata has been lifted out of the sea. Lots of flashes, lots of bits everywhere. And yeah, I've got to wait again. 
I'm going to try and reverse Queen Mary away. That's what's causing the initial problem. It's just the big ships colliding, which is uh, never a good thing for from the depths. Or reality either. They never want two ships colliding. That's never a good thing. Yeah, let's, let's back up a minute. Yeah, there we go. The game's now functioning relatively well. And, yep, yeah, there we go. So now the Yamato is uh, a bit lower in the water. Never a good thing. But to that last mine, that's just that's just ripped right through it. Jesus. I mean, if there's, if there's ever a weak spot on the ship, I think we just found it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of raining pieces now. There's bits here which are not quite attached anymore, and they're just going to rain down. <laughs> that's fun. Right. I'm not sure whether to do another hit, but we'll do one more anyway, if the game crashes and so be it, because I think we've achieved what we set out to achieve. If I can turn the ship, then that's uh, not going to work, is it? The problem with the Queen Mary is it's just a bloody awkward manoeuvre. She's got a rudder, but the rudder doesn't seem to do much, but... And a sort of cheese grate along the side, that may do something, but no, it's not going to work either. As bad as manoeuvrable as a HGV with no tyres. It's a bit slick. I'll well, just push along the side and see what we can end up with. I think that's the fastest this version of ING Yamato has gone anyway, because this thing is not it's not got any propulsion in it. So, but no, never mind. Come on, Mary, you can turn. No, I'm just going to crash the game, isn't it? The problem with this. Never mind. Got loads of shit done to it anyway. Got bloody flies in it. Hate summertime. Right. Well, we've achieved something. Really, I just want the ship to just just sort of scrape along the side and just sort of rip pieces off, but it's not going to happen, is it? Uh, Queen Mary's about, like I say, manoeuvrable. Manoeuvrability is pretty much zero, but I'll go for another hit. We need a, a secondary rudder on it, really. I'll just turn that way. Anyway, this might work. This should go through the stern, hopefully. And crunch. Oh, I'll push her. And yeah, not much is happening. Well, no big deal. We've got something happening anyway. We've got a few bits falling off, a few handrails. And yeah, just just a gentle scrape along the top, along the fr along the back there. And yeah, not achieving very much, if you can tell. But never mind. I think what I'll do, if I can really take the piss with this, I'll just reverse the Queen Mary out of the way. And what I'll do while I'm here, I'm going to load a load of mines up in mid-air. On top of uh, Yamato and see what happens. <laughs> if it sets them off. Just to be a, you know, just to be a real bastard. Alright, let's get a bit further away and... There we go, there's the mines, they should land, they'll fall over and then maybe they'll detonate. There we go. <laughs> oh, don't like smoke. <laughs> and there goes another one. Mines are fun. Yes. Right. I think we didn't really achieve much with Mary, but uh, mines are always fun. Yes, and uh, I think we're okay. So I think we'll call it a day there, because we're not going to get any further with this. Although, she's a bit low in the water now. Oh, well, sod it. Let's do one more. Fuck it. You know, we're here. Mines are always fun. So I'll just load a few more up. It's what people want to see, and that destruction is always fun, especially on YouTube. Okie dokie. Three more.
<laughs> there we go. Then there's bits all over the place. All right, there we go. So there's the Yamato again. She's just rising slightly from the depths. But I uh, don't see her really surviving too long. <laughs> that has gone right. That's gone right through. Yep. I think. Oh, uh, this is so fun to do this. I'm going to do a few more. Fuck it. Okay, one, uh, one on there, and then one there, one up here, and then one on the stern. And there we go. Four more. Let me all one off at once then, that's just a bit of a shame, but never mind. Yeah, it went off a bit too quick, but never mind. There's, <laughs> there's not much left of the uh that bit there. And uh Yes yeah, uh, I think she's doomed. And she is actually going down slightly at the stern. Yeah, I don't think uh She'll take much more. What do you say? Should we do some more? Yes, why not? I mean, don't pay a license fee for nothing, do we? Alright. Uh, put one on the four pig. Okay, go keep. Three more. One on the bridge. One on the bow. <laughs> and the other one. On the stern. Surprised how those birds keep moving with the amount of radiation in here. But uh, it's no big deal. And the Amato is a little bit more knackered, but still floating. <laughs> what fun. No, I think I'm going to call it a day there because I don't think we're really going to achieve much more apart from just destroying what is already uh, well it's a very good ship but it's now a very destroyed ship so uh, it's going to rattle a little bit and uh, we'll leave it at that anyway this is Rich signing off logging off and disappearing and I shall try and return with another one of these sort of videos so uh, yeah, bye for now